First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Yeah, it was a chilly start this morning after yesterday's uh, unusual snow showers that came through. That's not the first time that we've had snow showers this late in March. In fact, I was talking to the National Weather Service. They have seen several times when that very same thing like happened yesterday happened before. In fact, uh, those uh, temperatures this morning starting out in the upper teens, low 20s, has happened dozens of times throughout history. So I think we're past that, though, as we see right here, first alert live Doppler radar giving us a clean sweep in 33 degrees. In fact, we're going to go from snowy to stormy over the next couple of days. As a matter of fact, there is the severe weather threat coming up for Friday afternoon and evening. I know that's still several days away, but this is your heads up that we're going to go from a very winter like pattern to a very spring like pattern. And this is not a very high threat, but it's enough. We're into that time of the year. The atmosphere is in transition. We've got a slow moving system that will come in and then an eventual cold front that will pass through the area late Friday. And so right here ac across southern Kentucky and in the middle Tennessee, there is a threat for damaging winds and maybe some large hail with the colder air or somewhat colder air on top the warm air at the bottom, and that uh, certainly means uh, things could get a little buoyant as we get into Friday afternoon and evening, something we'll continue to watch. In the meantime, it's a chilly start to the day. Temperatures right now right around the freezing mark to the north, but we have surpassed that now finally down toward the Tennessee uh, border, 37 in Russellville, 34 Franklin. There's the freezing mark, 32 in Edmonton, 35 in Burksville, 34 in Munfordville. Uh, the seven-day temperature trend does show promise here. That's a good thing. Average high this time of the year, 63 degrees. We're only going to make 47 today, but then jump to 60 Thursday, 70 Friday. We take a little dip, but not a big one as we get into Saturday. Then Sunday uh, into Monday, we jump back into the 60s and 70s. Kind of a roller coaster ride here over the next few days. Just get used to it. It's the end of March, beginning of April. And this is pretty typical, more typical this time of the year or this year than it has been in past years when we've been unseasonably warm. Live view down Scottsville Road this morning, seeing from the airport and our Independence Bank weather cam, a sunny sky. Temperature at 35 degrees now. And the good news is nothing breezy today like yesterday, a very light wind from the northwest. Here's a look at our AAA Systems Weather Cam Network. Glasgow, you're at 33 degrees after starting at 16 as a low temperature this morning. Here's the HD Weather Cam in Muhlenberg County. Greenville, you're at 35. As we go to Litchfield, you started at 16 this morning, but you're sunny and 33 degrees now in Grayson County. Here is a Western's camera from the uh, Duck Center, 33, the current temperature in Bowling Green this morning as things are looking good there. And a big storm, a nor'easter, cranking up here in the northeastern part of the United States. And there is uh, some very high winds off the coast of Massachusetts here, the Cape, getting some 80 to 90 mile per hour winds and that storm continues to strengthen. In fact, it's throwing down some very heavy snows from Boston up to Bangor and uh, points north and east. But for us, things are quieting down after yesterday's snow shower, the little convection that was coming through. And now you see the beginnings of some rain back to our west. That's our next weather maker. 35 right now at the Bowling Green Airport. Finally starting to see some 40s and near 50 degree readings out west of us. In fact, some 10 to 15 degree jumps in temperature over yesterday. We're one degree warmer than we were at midday yesterday. High pressure was overhead last night. Clear sky. That's why everything was so chilly this morning. But now the warmer air will start to take over. Increasing clouds tonight. During the day tomorrow, mainly cloudy. A few scattered showers tomorrow afternoon. But I think the main event will be with this slow moving area of low pressure in the cold front as we get into Friday afternoon and Friday night. Look at the coverage of showers and thunderstorms here in southern Kentucky. Mostly sunny, not as cold this afternoon. 47 down down to 32, not as cold tonight, with increasing clouds, showers, maybe tomorrow afternoon, but especially tomorrow night, early Friday after a high of 60. Then we jump to 70 Friday, yet another round of showers and storms Friday night into Saturday morning. That's the cold front there as we cool down on Saturday to 59, jump to 63 Sunday, 73 on Monday. We're back with more Midday Live in just a minute.